So brand new scheme this year, we're piloting um, for, uh, for cricket, cricket is trialling it. So when, when the students come into year nine, they have carousel options that they choose. Um, one of those options is PE. What we have the opportunity now to offer the year nine students who are selected on the back of what we know already about their cricket is that if they choose PE, they, can, uh, they get three lessons over the two week timetable. So two practicals, one theory. For their practical sessions uh, for the next two terms, the so winter and spring term, um, they're invited to come and spend time in the performance programme down in the, uh, in the marquee. Uh, and through that they'll get uh, the beginnings, I guess, of uh, the tactical, technical, physical and mental uh, elements of the game that we, we start to really um, look into at that age. Um, there's two sessions over two weeks. Uh, it's not a lot but it's the first time it's happened and it's the first time we've been able to get access within timetable uh, to that year group. So, you know, I'm absolutely delighted. We've worked hard to sort of find a way of how we can get time with the students. So, and that really is the beginning of a, of a performance element for them. So, uh, wrapped around that, we know we've got uh, partic participation uh, cricket available for, for everybody. So from the spring term onwards, there'll be, there'll be cricket nets, if you like, uh, every evening um, through the spring term as a sort of intro, intro into the summer term of cricket but from a performance angle uh, we're now getting uh, access to students in year nine that will carry through all the way through to sixth form and you know hopefully that we can uh, we can find you know future future superstars future talent um, and help them on their journey so once the students go into the sixth form uh, the timetables open up at 16 plus is the first time we allow the sporty students uh, to polarise in one sport uh, and they can spend uh, as much or as little time um, putting into themselves elements of the sport uh, that we can offer here as I said it's about creating opportunity so all, all the uh, cricketers of a standard and a level will be offered one-to-ones with either myself, uh, Mr Palmer Goddard uh, or Miss James and they'll also interact with uh, Nick Reese uh, with a full strength and conditioning program and then there's opportunities to come and use the facility outside of those uh, lessons when they've got their own free study time. I became a sports scholar in the 16 plus sports program. It gives me access to using the downstairs gym so the performance suite and also the lifestyle gym. When I have my free periods, which allows me to develop my strength, to improve my cricket performance. And then the, it also gets me on the cricket performance programme at school with Mr Adams, which also gives more coaching, which improves my game as well. Um, a lot of access to one-to-one -one coaching with Mr Reese in the gym, who has really helped me and developed many programs for me over the years which has been a massive help for my all my sports I play especially cricket. Um, we've got an amazing facility with the marquee. So the marquee we just had a new machine come in it's called the Merlin um, and basically it bowls automated spin alongside two other fast fast bowling machines which really is a good benefit for my game it allows me to really work on my technique. So there's been a new fast bowling group which is basically we filmed all of the fast bowlers' actions and we're now picking out at the actions like so we can then look to improve the bowlers' technique. Mr Adams and Mr PG both key role in that. Well, I think the fast bowling groups, I think once every two weeks and it's just an opportunity for us all to get together and practice and get a coach. We all learn from each other by watching each other and giving each other tips and stuff like that. I suppose the, the greatest success uh, for me as head of cricket is, is the, the overall participation levels. Uh, the introduction of uh, cricket as a core sport for the girls a few years ago now uh, has seen um, an explosion of uh, cricket uh, through the summer term and, and of course now into the winter uh, terms. There are of course highlights you know, players uh, getting selected for academies, EPPs. Uh, last, uh, last year we were fortunate enough to see 
Charlie Tier, who was, had been with us from year nine all the way through to sixth form, uh, get a three year professional contract. And I suppose that's, they're really the sort of nice sort of icing on the cake, uh, the toppings, etc. But the base of what um, I certainly want to achieve here is that I suppose the number one goal for me is that when the students leave uh, aged 18 and they go out into the world and they either go to university or into an apprenticeship or into uh, a real life job themselves, that those that have chosen cricket, if they, if they continue to play cricket at whatever level that is and whatever le level they wish to, then that as far as I'm concerned is success. <laughs>